All you can hear is the fans. That's it. It's so quiet. And what are the number one complaint? As soon as you bring a new 3D printer home, it's too loud. It's too loud. I was banned to a separate room in the house because all of my printers were making way too much noise. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Next place. John here, guys. And today we're talking about the big tree tech mini e3 version 1.2 this is a silent upgrade board for your ender 3 that will allow you to print much much quieter than the stock board it is an upgraded set of stepper drivers on this board and it looks exactly like the stock ender 3 board that i have right here why is that notable because it is plug and play it drops right in and everything goes in the same exact spots it comes with these really cool rubber duckies if you go online right if you if, if you go online you can actually you can get these like you can if, you can buy these wholesale and it is so quiet that i have it printing in the room that i'm standing in right now and you probably can't even hear it so in the box you will see this little card that i'm never going to read these little heat sinks that go on the stepper driver themselves a cable to be able to connect to and that will allow you to do upgrades if you wish. The nice rubber ducky that you can use for bath time. And then the board itself that comes in a nice static free bag. If you look at the board, it is pretty much laid out the exact same way except it's black. There is one connection that we're going to have to swap around. But everything else plugs in the exact same spots as the stock Ender 3 board. So in order to install it, it's very simple. You're just going to want to open up your Ender 3 and when you do that, you're going to be using an M2 hex driver. And when you get in there, you're going to look at all of the connections. You're going to want to lay them out the same way. The SD card slot is going to face front and to the right and the bottom is going to go, of course, the same direction. So as you put that in, make sure and lay it out the same way and have it all the way far forward so that the SD card slot goes in easily. So first, take out your SD card out of your printer, turn it off, go ahead and unplug the printer itself. You don't want any power going to it while you are working on it. We'll move your printer all the way to the back, take out those M2 screws at the front and three screws there's two of them then move your printer bed all the way forward and take out the third screw right there at the back then the plate will come off it is still going to be connected to your fan so you're just going to want to place that to the side so that it is out of the way and you can continue taking apart the board there are four m3 screws holding the board on you're going to see that the other one is going to go in the exact same orientation and so you will remove those four screws from the stock board and as you see you're going to wait to start unplugging those connectors until you get everything unscrewed and ready to go so that we can work a little bit easier pull it out just a little bit there it's going to be tight you can get it out just a little bit and before we get forward the rubber duck. Before we keep going, you're going to want to apply those heat sinks to each of the four stepper drivers as shown here. You may have some hot glue seating the connectors in there, so go ahead and peel that hot glue off now. And then you're going to put them in one by one the exact same slots that they're in. So just go in order, start at the very top left work your way back go one at a time put each connector in the connector on the new board once you've finished all of them you're going to get to the only difference the only difference is going to be right here on the stock board you have a little connector by itself that's for the fan on the end of three four you're going to have a row of connectors here what is that extra row for well it's if you want to install bl touch auto leveling later we're not going to talk about that today we're only going to talk about where this goes. This goes in an alternate slot. Don't worry too much about getting this perfectly right. It's going to go into one of the ones labeled fan. You're actually going to switch it. The one that is going here is going to be the blue and yellow wire. And the other one is going to go in that back spot. I'll show you in a picture. Now, how can you test this? Very simply. Go. Once you have this installed, you're going to put all the screws back. You're going to boot the printer up. And you can go into your settings and manually turn on the fan. 
You're gonna to wanna to turn it to 100%, then down to 80%, and you'll be able to hear which of the three fans is spinning. The one you're gonna to want to spin is the part fan, which is gonna be on the heating element of your printer on the right side. If it's any of the other fans spinning, you have your fan in the wrong spot. So you'll wanna turn everything off and switch that connector. Very simple. When I first did it, and I did it in the exact same way that it's laid out, I actually had my fan that's above the board spinning at an alternate speed. The other two fans always spin at 100%. That's why the only adjustment is for that one part fan. So after you get that in, how quiet is it? I did some test measurements. I have another printer with dampers installed that was putting out 50 decibels. The stock Ender 3 was putting out 60 decibels. This one puts out like 45 to 50, but if you listen, it's not the actual printer itself making noise. The only thing that makes noise is the fans. That's all you can hear. And I really clicked just how quiet this thing is the other day when I was printing something. I set it to start printing. I went ahead and started doing something else. And then before I knew it, I looked over and remembered like, oh, I guess it never started printing. It had, it was already printing. I just couldn't hear it. All I could hear was the fans. So if you wanna know how loud this thing is, set your stock Ender 3 printer to warm up to preheat PLA. That's how long, how loud this thing's gonna be for the entire print because all you can hear is the fans. That's it, it's so quiet. And what are the number one complaint as soon as you bring a new 3D printer home? It's too loud, it's too loud. I was banned to a separate room in the house because all of my printers were making way too much noise. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Next place. If that's gonna happen to you, then go ahead and get this board and install it. And stay tuned next week, we're gonna talk about the Ender 3 V2 that's coming out very soon. That comes with a silent board installed and a couple other upgrades. You don't have to upgrade to that printer though. If you already have a stock Ender 3, you can do this mod very easy. If you can turn a screwdriver, you can install this thing. It comes with the new version of Marlin already installed. Some of the websites will tell you you have to upgrade and install a new version. I just plugged and played, put my SD card directly in and started printing immediately and the prints come out super quiet, super nice. The quality seems a little bit improved. I haven't done a ton of testing on that, but it is printing outstanding. So very cheap way to get things a lot more quiet in your house. If you wanna stay tuned to any new printing stuff on the channel, um, if you like seeing this stuff, let me know in the comments below. I'll keep making more. I do have an Ender 3 on pre-order, the V2. So we're going to be talking about if it's worth it for you to upgrade or if you're looking for your first printer, whether you should go straight to that printer or to the stock one. Thanks, guys.